Hey guys, it's Erin of Scandalous Beauty and you've been asking for it and I can't believe I have, it took me this long to do it, but this is Makeup 101. This is the basics of what you will need if you want to create a personal makeup kit. So keep in mind that everything that I'm going to show you, I will do a spinoff video to give you very detailed breakdowns of the product, how to use it, um, and things like that. So this is just the bare bare minimum. First thing you're going to want in your kit that's not even really in your kit but is, is skincare. I mean it, it's redundant and it's kind of cliche but makeup, good makeup does start with clean skin. So you always want to make sure that you're washing your face in the morning and at night. Um, you don't have to necessarily do the three step, you know, cleanse, then tone, and then moisturize, but you do want to have a good um, solid clean face that's first okay so for your kit you're going to want you this is okay this is optional you may or may not need this these are primers now lots of companies sell primers for the face uh, and for various parts of of the skin and you may or may not need these some that I use this is a matte gel. If you have oily skin, this is great. This is going to keep your oil from coming back. Primer like that. Um, some people use primers for all over in the event that they have um, large pores and they kind of want to fill their pores, so they're primers for that. Um, that. Several companies make these primers. I mean, Makeup Forever makes them. Smashbox is known for their primers. That's their, their claim to fame. Uh, you know, Mac makes them. Laura Mercier has a really good one that people talk about forever. I mean, it goes on and on. NARS has them, and Lauder has them, and everyone makes primers. So keep those in mind. Primers aren't just for the skin; they're for the eyes. You can use a paint pot like I use. Keeps my shadows on all day long. If I did not wear this primer, it would never. My shadows would never stay on. They would never. They would crease and oil up and be gross. So this is Painterly Paint Pot. I swear by this. I use this paint pot with every single shadow color that I wear. And you can find out more about that in other videos. There are also primers for the lips. You can also keep in mind that a lip conditioner is a lip primer. It's going to keep your lips moisturized and prepare them for the color that you're going to put on. There are tons and tons of, of things like that to keep in mind. Alright, so start with the face. Foundation. Foundation is basically just a way to even out your skin tone. There are foundations that are very, very sheer. There are some that give you very, very full coverage. There are some so far as, you know, theater makeup goes and special effects makeup that will make your face all a solid color. So, like, if you were watching, like, The Wiz and you saw Eveline, oh, no, she was, she was brown. Oh, The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, that version. Uh, she was green all over. So they're wearing, she's got, you know, a, a foundation that is green. It might not have been, you know, created just for foundation. It might have been, you know, an all over paint. But foundation is the start. It's going to just prepare your canvas and try and get out those blemishes and whatnot. And there are different finishes. You might want a dewy finish, which is going to look moist. You might just want a matte finish, which is going to not look dry, but it's going to eliminate all the shine. There are some foundations that just make you look like you, like nothing else, just you. Tons of different options for that. There are also powder foundations, cream foundations, liquid foundations, tons of foundations to choose from. We'll do a focus video on that, so stay tuned, and I'll help you decide what you need. Next, concealer. Now, concealer is a product that is an aid to help you disguise your blemishes. What the foundation does not cover, the concealer is supposed to cover. So one big misconception is that concealer is supposed to be lighter than your skin tone. That is true only when you want to highlight. So for instance, let's say you have blemishes on your face here and here. If you use a lighter concealer, this is just going to bring out the color. You don't want to do that. You want to have a concealer that is going to be your skin tone unless you're highlighting in this area. In this area, yes, you can use a lighter skin tone concealer or you can use your same color. Keep that in mind because 
it will just be a mess if you try to do a lighter color all over it just it defeats the purpose and then a powder a powder is basically going to um, set your foundation sorry I've been through it um, it's going to set your foundation it's going to keep your face matte it is going to basically complete the look you do not have to wear a powder at the end of applying your foundation you don't have to wear a foundation you don't have to wear a powder you don't have to wear a concealer it's a matter of preference and how you like the look to be so my suggestion is to get them try them see how you feel if you don't like them you don't need to use them anymore you can eliminate that step okay next blush blush is the color that accentuates the cheeks so you would just take a little bit put it on Keep moving. You can even out a little bit. Don't do a ton. Don't do the same amount you do on your on your cheeks, but just ever so much, and that's gonna basically just even out the skin all over. So blush, blush comes in several different colors. Um, the brand that's known for their blushes, Nars, and um, but their blushes all over the place that you can try. So that's that bronzer. Bronzer is something, it's a product that warms you up. It's supposed to make you look sun-kissed and uh, beautiful and just like everything else. And a bronzer for brown women, I'm going to say there are bronzers for us. But it's sometimes difficult to find ones that don't make us too red or too sparkly or whatnot. So I'm on the hunt for that as well. But I have that in a video. I'll tell you which ones I do use and which ones work for us. Okay, next, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, this is just um, a little quad that was made a few years ago by MAC. Um, eyeshadow is just a powder, or it can be a cream, or um, in some cases, rare cases, a liquid, that it just goes on your lid, on your crease, on your brow highlight, under eye, as an eyeliner. You can do a lot with with eyeshadow but the typical three-step program that you hear about so often is the lid color which is whatever color you want it to be a darker color in the crease to um, contour and a lighter color under the highlight under the brow for highlight that's basically the one two three step part of it and I have a video on applying eyeshadow the basics of that if you want to check that out but it's a very simple one two three step you can just wear color on the lid if you choose. You know, feel free to break any rules that you've heard. Um, some of you might not have seen me before, but I don't believe in makeup rules. I don't believe in following the concepts that people have thrown at us so often. So, yeah. Okay, next up, eyeliner. Eyeliner is what frames the eye. So I'm wearing eyeliner along the top only today. Um, this is a pencil eyeliner. This is basically where people it's it's easiest place to start if you use a pencil eyeliner it's just the easiest thing to do so you can wear oops eyeliner um, above the eye like around like closest to the lash line underneath the, the bottom lash line and in the waterline some people actually do the waterline up above as well so there's um, a video out already on that the different types of eyeliner techniques how to use it when to apply it, how to apply it blah 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 Next, mascara. Mascara is used to thicken the lashes. You will never believe how much of a difference is made just by applying mascara. This is Mac Zoom Lash. Um, mascara comes in uh, black, brown, sometimes plums, sometimes blues, um, sometimes greens, things like this. But mascara just thickens the lashes, top lashes and bottom lashes. And even if you walk out the house with just a little mascara on, it makes a big difference so and it comes in waterproof and non waterproof as well and that's that you're gonna also want to keep in mind something that's commonly forgot about brows you can use a pencil for that brow pencil or um, eyeshadows for that as well and there are lots of different brow kits there's a company called Anastasia who she is a celebrity um, Brow Stylist to the Stars, she's got a whole line of things. Also, um, Elke von Frudenberg, who was the creator of the Beauty Blog Network, also has a line of brow focused products and tons of stuff. But brows also frame the eye. They make a huge difference. That's a whole different video. 
Next, lips. Lips are very, very simple. Um, there is lipstick, which, let's see if I have that. Lipstick, which is what we all know. I picked red. <laughs> which is, you know, the stuff you've seen your mom pull out and your grandma and the lady on the bus and the lady on the corner and your teacher and anybody else who just mm, throw it on and go. It can come in sheer, it can come creamy, it can come matte, it can come in various types um, of textures. This is something that you don't have to start wearing. I just, I've been in a lipstick phase over the last few months. So other than that, I wasn't a big lipstick fan, but it's the quick one, two, three, get them on and go, classy type of, of thing. And um, there are videos on that as well, lipstick. There's lip liner which basically frames the lip. It's a whole concept of highlighting and contouring again, which is, don't even worry about it. So basically what this will do is just keep the lips, it'll deepen the color just a smidge if you wanted to, or you can wear a lip liner that matches perfectly and um, it's best blended, blended to the max, like not like a harsh line, that's not what we want. And last, lip gloss. Lip gloss is, is a creamy product that adds shine and adds dimension and really steps up the lip. Many of us just throw it on and go and don't think twice about it, but you can't go wrong with lip gloss. Lip gloss probably ought to be your first purchase if you have never purchased makeup before. I highly recommend it. So stay tuned. We've got Makeup 101 in segments coming for you before you know it. Thanks for watching. Bye.